energy down, and then we go for vitality spring, and boom, 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 and boom. So that's gonna be five energy on Ho-Oh, -Ho plus the sixth is 280 damage, if I'm correct. Add that on top of the psychic energy, that is 310 damage. Turn three, that we are smacking. Before we begin, I'd like to thank the sponsor of the channel, PDCGO Store, where you can buy codes with 5% off using the discount code FTW. It's a way to support the channel whilst getting something in return, so why not? Now, with that said, let's get going. Lads, ladies, Babies. Am I still sick? Oh yeah. <laughs> are we still going? Oh yeah. Today we are playing with a vicious combo. Being able to get Ho-Oh -Oh out. Turn two, ideally, and hitting 310 damage. Now you might think I'm playing about here, but hey, 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 listen. When this Blastoise comes into the fray, oh no, but he's safe, my friend. Blastoise with that vitality spring ability once during your turn, you may search your deck for up to six energy cards and attach them to your Pokemon in any way you like. Then shuffle your deck. If you use the ability, the turn ends. The simple strategy of the deck is to get Ho-Ho -Oh into play and accelerate hella energy, all of the energy. I got all the energy onto one ho o -Oh, literally throwing our eggs into one basket which matches the bird pokemon that is uh, this as far as my humor goes i can't think of a joke any better than that that wasn't even that funny now that i think about it nonetheless we are just loading up this donny that sounds dodgy but regardless it's going to be hitting absolutely huge one hit ko damage and this deck is simply built on the premise of achieving that so well, why do we have certain cards in here well we have diancy with that princess's curtain to prevent bosses orders on ho -Oh once we accelerate to it with blastoise radiant charizard for an easy single price attack in the late game that can also take one hit ko's where possible so that's quite nice we do struggle against some use sometimes i've got a draper in here to deal with that as well we've got lumillion to guarantee the likes of irida which is so good in this deck because it just guarantees that turn to Blastoise so many times. Crobat for extra draw, which can be very, very helpful. And because we're playing so much Arida, we only really need to play like two rare candy. We don't need to naturally draw into rare candy. We're more relying on uh, Arida for that. And also a couple of uh, tools in here that I thought I couldn't really decide between. So I thought, you know, let's have all of them, right? Let's just have one of each and just go with whatever's available. So we've got Cape of Toughness to give Ho-Oh just that extra strength, effectively bring up to 280. So unless your opponent's active Pokemon is to hit in that one hit KO range, your Ho-Oh can survive extra turns. Choice spell in case we do with an energy here or there, or let's say if we hit the 310, but we're playing against Duraludon, that choice spell is going to be super handy to take a one of KOs there. And of course, Sky Seal Stone to allow us to take extra prizes, which is of course a no-brainer for this Ho-Oh too. So I thought, let's just throw all of them in there. Why not, man? Let's just see how it runs. And look, this deck is really, really fun to play. And funnily enough, 16 energy, even in this format, is actually considered normal now. Ain't that strange. Nonetheless, let's get moving with this and see if we can cause some mayhem. Right, all I need is a Squirtle. Oh, shit. Yeah. Oh, what a beautiful top deck. Okay. Let's get Diancy here for now. And then next turn, we have pretty good odds of hitting our Ho-Oh, which is going to be so nice. For those who don't know, I am 30 minutes into recording. The only person that knows that is me. So, of course, I know you're going to know. I've been just looking for a decent game with decent hands and stuff like that. And PDCGO has been giving me the middle finger almost as if they don't want me to leave and are upset that I have to. So it, it feels like that, you know, they're like, eh, surely boy, you've given me all these years and now you're gonna go to PTCGL? Oh, that's disgraceful. Look at the state of it. Oh, I'm sorry, but I haven't got a choice and they don't believe me. Oh, the drama. Oh, hello. Did I see an Archeops there? Is this Lugia Archeops and Blissey? I've seen that on live, actually, when playing live recently. That's interesting. Um, Yeah, there, so many people have migrated to PDCGL already. Uh, interesting. <laughs> Very interesting, but I get it, man. It was it nine days until its technical closure of PDCGL? I know everyone's like, yeah, PDCGL doesn't actually go. Bro, it does, okay? <laughs> Sorry to burst your bubble, but it's the end, okay? It's as simple as that. The fact that they don't update the game is more than enough. Right, let's... Anyway, before we get into that, let's actually go for Ho-Oh. And... That's a lot of energy, bro. It's a lot of, a lot of stuff, you know what I mean? That's a lot of, a lot of jazz. You like jazz? Anyway, listen. I'm waffling. I'm getting distracted now. I'm getting very distracted. All right, Ho-Oh, down. Beautiful. Okay. I should have attached a Psychic. What am I doing? Energy, down. And then we go for Vitality Spring. And boom, 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 and boom. Oh, I can do even one more if I feel, feel like it. But we have all the energy we have in deck. 
available here. So that's going to be five energy on Ho Oh plus the sixth is 280 damage, if I'm correct. If not, 310. I believe it's 280. And that will be hit turn three, which is a beauty. Add that on top of the psychic energy. That is 310 damage. Turn three that we are smacking. So that is beautiful. And it's against a good deck. Yeah, look at us go, baby. Look at us go. Oh, that's throwing a spanner in the works. You absolute pain. You absolute pain. Uh, it's not the end. I can um, maybe have, maybe find the other training court or find... Oh, wow, we, we also had the one metal. So we prized the metal energy too. So we had bad energy prizing. But so long as they don't... Oh, they're going to go for my hurt oh, right out the bat. That's fair. But <laughs> yeah, I come even I forgot, bro. <laughs> Brother, read the cards. I should read the cards because even I thought for a second that boss was going to work, but they tried bossing up my Ho O, -Oh, ignored Diancy, and Ho O -Oh is still chilling on the bench. He's like, bro, nah. You see these crystals? Yeah, I got to hit through them first to get to me. You know what I mean? You got you to go through the trenches, my friend. Start mining through that cave until you find me, the diamond, you know? <laughs> anyway, that is a KO. Absolutely insane. Absolutely cool, man. Beautiful stuff. Would really like to find uh, my... I do I do only play two... Uh, oh, okay. Let me think here. Oh, slow down. Slow down, Shawnee Bear. There is water on this and lightning. So I can just do this quickly and get... I'm actually going to go for another Diancy for a very specific reason. Ho-Ho can recover itself. So if we ever need to do that... Then we could just put Diancy inactive, recover the Ho-Oh, and Bob's your uncle. Right, so no recovery just yet on any energy. The Choice Belt will bring us to free. We don't need to hit that just yet, though. Right, we don't need to. So it's not necessary. What I'm going to do is actually get the Dark Energy on this Charizard, because if this Ho-Oh goes down, we have to use two energy to attack. So we just need to find the fire. Um, and then we can actually attack the Charizard. And that'll bring us to two prizes if they KO that. And then Diancy would be the, the next one. And then we bring her... Oh, yeah, yeah, we're fine. We are fine. We've got we've got our prize mapping sorted pretty much. In case we get Marley, we'll do that. I'm going to thin a little bit here. Just get that, that Blast Ace out of the deck. And from there, it's going to be, if I'm correct, 280. Oh, yeah. 280. I know that's more of a darts thing, but hey, oh, here we are. There we go. There's that metal. That would actually bring us to that 310 if necessary. 340 with choice. Um, but this Lugia can just, if it manages to pull it off, just get Archeops out and slap me a new one. So let's see how it goes. If it does, then our, our main hope is to get that Charizard attacking with the choice belt, and that will actually KO the Lugia. So that's kind of what we want if they do KO the Ho-Oh. Obviously, what we really want is them not to KO Ho-Oh. That's an obvious one. Okay, so that's two Archeops down. They're going to get Lugia V-Star now. Um, their hand, though, is looking a bit weak. Three cards. No cards on the bench. You know what I mean? Even though they are getting off their Lugia V-Star, it's far <laughs> from... Okay, that was quite cringe. Far from the end. So I sh maybe I should have saved that training core and used shouldn't have used it so aggressively. Hmm. Yeah, that might, 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 might have been a better scenario there. Regardless, we do have the option to dig in the deck. So that's fine. Uh oh, it's going to go down, but it is... There's potential for us to still win this game. Genuinely, we have our prize route, at least. What I mean by that is we know what we want to attack with and... Uh, well, the game plan. I have the game plan. We just need to see how it goes. Uh, I'm finally glad, though, I'm actually able to get a decent game because I've been struggling, man. My energy's low. You know, I'm struggling. I'm still sick, brother. Energy's low. Come on, please. I need some love. I need some love, right? Thankfully, if we get that fire, the V guard doesn't matter. Because that is only protection from V. We are Radiant, so we can still hit through that Lugia. 4280 if we just find the fire. That's all we need. That is all we need. Um, if... Well, one thing I am concerned about is Charizard sticking in the active, leaving boss potential for Ho-Oh. Ooh. Hmm. 
Right, let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. Let's see how this goes. So obviously we're going to promote Diancy. If we don't find that fire, then I'm just going to bring Ho-Oh back and let him have the Diancy, basically. Um, and then we'd have to pretty much get a cape on the ho to at least make it survive as long as possible. But even then, the Lugia won't go down. Because we need to hit 280, which recovering Ho-Oh won't allow. That's huge. All right, I am going to throw you here. We are going to thin. Let's check the deck quickly. So we do have Crobat, Luminion. We have that one training court. We, we need to get the training court, bro. Oh, no. Okay. I see. I see. I see. So it's a, it's a Crobat turn. For sure, bro. For sure. Okay. Let's see what we can do here. Let's see if we can make magic happen. So I could bench this Ho-Oh. But I don't want to. Oh, we could. No. Collapse Stadium would make that a problem. Okay. All right. Crobat V first. No training court. Okay. Now we Marnie. We need that training court, bro. It's one card. It's so unlikely. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's go. Okay. That's amazing. All right. So we can training court, recover the fire. And as easy as that, just whack Radiant Charizard up and one hit KO the Lugia V Star. If only it could be done with a Sky Seal Stone, eh? But hey, beggars cannot be choosers. Let's go in and just whack a Combustion Blast down. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that is beautiful fun. Absolutely wonderful. It's great that this deck has a follow up. You know, that was my concern. It's like, okay, once the Hurt goes down, then what? And it's like, okay, we need something to follow up with. Charizard is perfect. The fact that we also had that choice belt available just makes it so much better. Now, this Charizard probably won't go down, but what I can do is manually attach to it and retreat into Diancy. Actually, no, it could go down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's definitely going down. I forgot there's a bloody arc up to the active there. Um, now, the annoying thing is, is I don't see a way to, for Ho-Oh to win the turn after. So we might have to get another Diancy down. Oh, no, there's not. I don't think we've got the win, you know. I don't think we've got it. I think this Blissey's too tanky. It's too big. 210, 240. Yeah, it's just too big. I think it is too big. That's not good. That's not good at all. Right. Let's promote Diancy anyway. You're nice, but not needed. What can be done here? What can be done? What can we do? Luminion. We could Marnie again, but that's not going to change anything. We need them to bench something weak. That's what we need to do. And they ain't going to do that. You know what I mean? It ain't going to happen. <laughs> but that's kind of what we need. I'll get you just in case it's needed. I'll recover. It uh, doesn't really matter so much at this point. Could... <laughs> oh, yeah. well, no, I am not spike drawing. I'm sorry, my friend. It'd be nice to have an energy recycler. Recycle five energy and then just use Blast Hose all over again. That actually would have been a better play than what I'm doing here. I just didn't see that coming at one point. Anyway, let's... We'll, um... Arida. Get a switch. Squirtle. Fin out again. Could have bossed up Archeops. In fact, that might have been a good play because they might, they might be out of energy. But I doubt it. I doubt it. Yeah, they've, they've got more energy for sure. All right. Let's just rec recover ho -Oh And just get a bunch of energy back on. Yeah, now I kind of wish that I had some sort of recovery available. It'd be nice to recover Charizard and just go in for another swing. Um, but that's not there. We are only hitting 210 now. Attaching an energy will make it to 40. Um, which is not enough to see us through. And they're doing more than enough damage to hit even through the cape. Brother, read the cards! <laughs> read the cards, darling! You tried this already, didn't you? <laughs> Did you try with the boss? A boss? But it, it won't matter. It won't matter. They're just they're just they're just hitting too they're hitting too strong. If they bent something, then it would be fine. But they're not going to do that. They're obviously smart. They're hitting three fifty just straight, bro. It, there is no protection on your boy's behalf. All I've got to do now is just hope that they don't have an energy in hand or an energy in deck. Actually, we hope we got to hope they're just out of energy. Because what I want to do is promote the Blastoise. Gust up the Archeops and then 
even then, I don't even know if using Blastoise is going to be any 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 use. But uh, you know what I mean? You've just got to give it a go. Right then. In fact, I think we're just out of all the energy. <laughs> okay, let's attach you. Let's boss you. Um, if they've got boss, it's a wrap. Um, if they have retreat, it's a wrap. We have... That's all the... Well, doesn't matter. That, that didn't add any damage to our... Oh, uh -oh, uh oh we're just delaying the inevitable. Unfortunately, wasn't able to see through to the end because of this thing suddenly appearing in Lugia. What's happening here, then? You don't... Mm, rotation, you, you, you can... Yeah, that's cool. But except just, you're kind of pointless post-rotation. Oh, no, post-rotation. Blissey's kind of cool in Lugia. Power goes, I know that, so you, don't, you lose a lot of damage output. But you're only effectively losing 80 damage, which could be a big deal breaker, I know. Anyway, they got the switch and that's it. Um, bit of a shame that we didn't get the win there, but I was able to pull off the combo. That was fun. Really interesting. Going first with a start like this against the Shroomish. I think we're living the life, mate. You know what I mean? Against the Mushroom Boy. Which, by the way, even... Look, that's his face. If I go away, even there he looks the upside down version. Uh, do you know what? It's all right, I'm waffling. Let's touch an energy here. And throw Squirtle down. Double Squirtle is no harm. And then just pass up. If, if we get, like, uh, a way to get Blastoise, that'd be beautiful. So we already have the candy in hand. There's a chance we might prize the other. You know, I did take a risk playing two. So let's see how it goes. Let's see how it goes. Um, but uh, that's one tonked out shroomish. What is going on here? <laughs> What's happening? What's this? Eh? What's going on? What's going on here then? I'm a little bit, a bit confused. All right, we have to research, so let's hope to the Lord we do have... Um... Oh, hello. He's getting energy in this car pile. We get Ho out this turn, can't we? Yeah. And Shen Uh We did prize the rare candy. I jinxed myself. Would you look at that? I have a feeling it might not matter, though. I have a feeling this deck's a bit random. So, manual attach away we go, I guess. Uh, until we find that rare candy. That's what it looks like. Let's just go for a spike draw. <laughs> what is going on? I'm playing against the Shroomish with a cape of toughness. <laughs> it's coming on. It's like... Oh, no. Hey, PDCGO is the Wild West right now, my friends. <laughs> it's kind of funny and sad, but funny as well. Also quite fun. Um... <laughs> Okay, there's the Breloom as expected. I didn't genuinely expect this to be a Shroomish deck, okay? I, I knew Breloom was the one. Um, so they have to use four balls to make me asleep, and then they can go for the 130 hits. That's kind of what's going on. Uh, all catch and remember, I'm actually using that in a certain deck that will be coming out soon. I am looking at post-rotation decks as well. Um, and there's one deck that I've created that uh, some of you may have seen playing against me. Um, I know someone did play against me uh, with this deck and said that they, on, on, on social media, that they ran into me. But um, playing against, playing with a card in a deck that is completely unconventional, but works magnificently, um, especially in a slower format. Uh, now, granted, the format's only slow if you have Clef Key, but that's still something. Uh, do you know what? Maybe I'll try and get another Ho-O -Oh out here and just, just run with that. Wasting all my tool cards here, but you know what? I'm going to find a way to see if I can get another Ho-Oh in a discard pile. Can I do that? We can. Okay. That's the situation. So that's what I'm going to do. You know, if we're in a situation where we can't use our candies, we're going to have to become uh, a little desperate. Let's get Charizard out. I will have... So do we have two different... We have all different energy now. I can I just attach to this Ho-Oh? Just cover this one. Right, so we definitely have a Ho-Oh attacking next turn. That's good news. There we are. And we have Ho-Oh -Oh here to rely on. So... That's cool. We haven't hit our combo, but we can at least go with that. Also, could take a swing on this. That is an Oko. If they don't add any um, health modification. Friends of Hisui. Is it Hisui? Hisui? I don't say Hisuian. I say Hisuian. Is that correct? It's probably Hisuian, isn't it? Because Hisui sounds weird. Sounds like Decidui. Yeah, it doesn't sound right, does it? Right, nonetheless, uh, also interesting, they didn't use the V-Star. We don't have a KO, but if we get extremely lucky and top... No, we can't, we can't do it. What am I talking about? I was going to say, we top deck... It's somehow we top deck choice belt and energy would have it, but no. We'd be dumb-dumb. I'm -dumb. Uh, being dumb-dumb. Okay. Well, I don't see any harm in going for a boss play. Absolutely none. Why the hell not? 
Especially if we can get a KO and just get that rare candy. And then just, you know, load up another another ho That would be quite cool. But nonetheless, there it is. Why do I say 210? It is 220, isn't it? 3, 6, 9, 12. It's 220. Yes. What am I doing? What am I doing? The math is lovely, though. 220 easily KOs Vs. 250 choice belt, you're KOing V-Stars. So five energy choice belts, V-Star KO. Six energy is V-Star KO. But six energy choice belt is V-Max KO. The numbers are incredible. The three times damage multiplier is really good in this format now. Um, when uh, when added on to... Well, is it now? So 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 2, 10. Ugh, two, oh, maybe it's not. It has to have that extra 10 on top. And that's where this 100 comes in, I guess. I don't know. I'm not good at maths. Let me be, okay? Let me be. Let me be. I'm, I'm playing against I'm playing against Shroomish, all right? Your boy's out here. We're, we're in the wastelands, my friend. We're struggling. <laughs> we're in the wastelands, man. We're in the wastelands. I'm sorry I can't give you a better game, um, a more competitively one, base one. This time is so short right now. Uh, I've just been... I've been recording now for 47 minutes, um, which I know is nowhere near the length of the video because there's been so many games where it's just been so bad. The matchups have been pretty terrible um and there's just times where i'm not getting the right the right hands and stuff so yeah uh, it, it is what it is right we're just gonna roll with what we roll with i have to now okay that we have to keep this one in <laughs> at least it ended quickly let's see if we can squeeze one more in i mean squeeze i've got to go in 15 minutes so <sighs> let's see all right back in the wasteland baby there is a shadow rider um the hand ourselves is bad man um although that said it's definitely playable if we just get some good top decks. Um, we definitely have Quick Ball to get Squirtle out. And we also have Training Court to recover energy discarded. Um, I'm, it's looking bleak. I can't be... I can't lie. <laughs> but hey, if we pull it off, we can just start taking Okos and Calyrex and finish nice and swiftly. Oh, yes. Okay, now we're talking. Let's go ahead and get that Water Energy discard, discard Pile. Get Squirtle out. And probably just attach to Ho-Oh and pass. I don't like this Ho-Oh in the active one bit, man. Don't want it to take a swing, but what can I do, you know? What can I do? I can read it now. Gets me Luminion. I can get Luminion Quick Ball. Um, get Diancy. And a Arida, because Arida can get me the Luminion next turn for the, for the guarantee. So I think we do that. Um, could, make a, could make a switch play. That feels really bad. No, definitely Diancy and then maybe manual retreat next turn into Diancy. Which feels rough, granted, but I kind of prefer that, if I'm honest. Um, so that, you know, let's say that even if they pull off an escape probe and manage to try and get a KO, at least we can throw Diancy in the active. But I just want that Diancy in the active for when we use our ability. So I can attach to Ho-Oh, manual retreat, and then Luminion for Irida go for the, the Blastoise play, hopefully have different enough energy, even with this energy discarded, to, f to hit that 310 number, and then we can just KO two Shadow Riders. And that's basically game. So it's a very slim game plan here, with, especially with our hand. Our hand is terrible. Um, we have no like draw after this play that I'm looking to make. So it's a bit risky, but it's one we're going to have to do. Now, they could go for a really big swing on this ho -Oh already. But I would hope they go for a Crescent Glow. That said, it's only going to attach one energy if they do that. But they might, yeah. If they go for a Crescent Glow, which is what I'm actually anticipating, then it's fine. That's okay. That's all right. Um, I will save that, 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 that training call for potential Charizard play if needed. But I expect a Crescent Glow here. If they play their support off a turn. There we go. Okay, so, yeah, I definitely thought that one through well enough, I think, to be able to pull it off. Um, yeah, I think we're Gucci. I think we're Gucci. Okay. All right. In fact, I could just drop a Ho-Oh here um, and not waste energy, but then I don't want this Ho-Oh getting smacked. So, let's attach... I should have, no, 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 no. That's fine. That extra 20 damage is okay. It's fine. It's fine. Let's get Luminion and then just go for Arita, bro. All right, so we have the rare candy. Yes, okay, we prized one, so yeah, we're a bit on the lucky side. <laughs> Let's check our energy quickly, see if we have that potential to Oko, so that we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We do have enough. Seven energy is the number to Oko this Shadow Rider. So, Let's get this Blastoise out. Now, we don't attach that extra energy, but we have Training Court in hand. 
So as long as we make sure we don't have one of these, Psychic, Fighting, and Water. So we can maybe skip the Fighting. Yeah. Psychic, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Fighting or Water. Either or. Okay, so that's going to be six energy on this Ho-Oh. Ah. Oh. I just love the ability. It's so fun. <laughs> it's like, okay, I'm just, just going to ramp up my boy. That's great news. And then all we got to do is train in court, recover that extra energy. And then we are one hit KO in this Donnie. And hopefully we can just clean, just swipe them. Absolutely swipe them. Especially KOing one with free energy on it is going to dramatically re reduce their damage output and draw potential. So at that point, it is, it is a wrap. An absolute wrap. So... That's kind of the perfect scenario. Again, turn two, ho oh, beautiful. Turn three, free 10 is what we're looking for. Lady? Wow. I mean, not a terrible supporter in this kind of deck. I get it. I do get it. You just get a bunch of energy and just start drawing. But nonetheless, are they going to? They're not going to promote. They are smart, bro. They could just KO the Diancy. They don't need to promote this Donny. That's fair. That's very fair. That puts me in the firing line. What I could do if I really get cheeky is just promote this Blastoise and go for another Ho-Oh. <laughs> like, okay, I'm going to get two of them. And that's how it's going to happen. That's how it's going to be. You know what I mean? That could definitely happen. All right, there's another Underworld door. Bro, a top deck of a boss would be the dream. The absolute dream. Or Crobat, quick ball can get us there, that's for sure. Hello. I think you got the wrong Indeedy, my friend. Nah, call cool for family. I hear it. I hear it. I hear it. Obviously not ideal. Not, not the best way to go about playing Shadow Rider, but nonetheless. Here we go. So do I promote the Blastoise? Do I commit to the play? Um, let's see what we top deck. Let's see if we get the love. Come on. It's a Charizard. Okay, well, in that case... It's time to start recovering, my friend. Let's get an energy back into play here. And what we're going to do is easily just retreat into this. And then just bench Ho-O -Oh and go for another Vitality Spring. If you're going to force that life on me, bro, I'm going to come back with another Donny full of different energy. <laughs> What's funny is we actually have, again, another card that with just one training court. I know I did waste my training court there, and I hope they don't counter it. It's going to, again, hit 310. So... Yes. <laughs> now, we do need that training court. We do need that training court, so I'm hoping they don't bounce it. But two Ho-Ohs for hitting 310 is better than one. So, okay, you're going to force me down that road. We will go down that road. Let's see how it happens. So, two Ho-Ohs currently hitting 280, if I'm correct. They all have six different energy. Both of each have six different energy, so... Worker, no, bro. Why is there so much stadium this card? It's like we have both of them down. No energy recovery. We now need a choice belt. And, hey, listen. You're playing a Shadow Rider. Why do you have a Crushing Hammer in your deck? That is actually disrespect. That isn't even close, my friend, to... Oh, I'm just playing Shadow Rider. No, no, no. You're a degenerate, yeah? Out in causing this kind of havoc. Ridiculous, my friend. Absolutely ridiculous. But I will come in swinging. All right? When I can. When you stop being so scared and be so afraid. Oh, no, he's going to KO me. I'll just use my Cresselia. As soon as you knock out one of my Donnies with one of these Donnies, it's game on. Annoyingly, though, I can't use Charizard. Because, again, there's no recovery. And now I'm really regretting no recovery. Maybe I should have just thrown a recycler in here or even a, a rod. Yeah. And also, mate, I've got to go in like 10 minutes. Can you pick up the plate to place? Place? Even though it's not their fault. Obviously, they have no idea what's going on. You know, they're, they're here to play some Pokemon. But Donnie! But it's drawing off his dick. It's all in his hand. You know what I mean? He's playing a trade in energy search in a shadow ride. You don't need energy search. You're better off playing an extra energy. You're not playing specific energy. Here's a, here's a tip for you lot. If you're only playing one type of energy, don't play energy search. Play an extra energy. That said, there are times where it does make more sense. Let's say you're playing an item 
finding deck. So if you're playing something that has like four Mew from Celebrations, then Energy Search makes sense because it allows Mew to search for energy. Understandable, have a nice day. A reader allows a reader to search for energy, but then in those cases, you're usually paying Capacious Bucket, which will allow you to find two water energy. Apart from those scenarios, you don't need energy search if you have one type of energy, yada, yada, yada. You know, and you're not really going down that road. This deck does not need energy search, not in the slightest. Not at all. You're better off using that space for something better. Okay, the dream is still alive. We just need a choice belt now. <laughs> Do you know what that's called? K-A-R-M-A, -A, my friend. That's what's happening there. Let's go. Oh, 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 wait a second. We're hitting 310. And they have 320. <sighs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, I forgot their HP is 320 this whole time. You're all laughing at me. Look at me, big shorty boy out here talking like he knows what he's doing. Look at his out here going, yeah, you can't play this cards. You can't do that. I know what I'm doing. I'm I'm the top Donny I am. I got second place in a, in a tournament of like 30 people. <laughs> he knows what he's talking about. <laughs> oh, I am a disgrace to my family, my friend. That is ridiculous. What am I doing, man? What am I doing with myself? I should just migrate to live and just cry. You know? <laughs> oh, no. Hey, 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 hey. It's a wrap, bro. It's a wrap. Hey, the concept's cool, but... Uh... Yeah, look at you go. Look at you. Wow, you're playing... Oh, do you know what? I'm not even going to say anything because I'm clearly, I'm clearly tilted and salty. I'm tilted and salty. I am the saltiest there ever was. I am the saltiest man. I am the salty boy. Okay, so let's go ahead and get a Crobat and start drawing. Oh, I could have used Drapion. Oh, I'm so dumb. For those who don't know, Drapion, it, it's, it's colorless energy. I could accelerate to Drapion with Blastoise and just Oko these guys into oblivion. Hey, I'm a special breed, for real. Like, I just, I'm just different. I'm just, you know what I mean? I'm just different. You know? <laughs> In the worst kind of ways. You know, I'm just... I just am. <laughs> I ain't got the capacity in the brain for these kind of shenanigans. All right? You know, I'm going to KO this. They're going to KO me. And it's, it's finito. Yeah. It's finito. It's, it's, it's done. It's done. I am finished. Oh, hello, Sky Sealstone. Could have used you there. Doesn't matter. Evil aim. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 2. Yeah, it's game. Let's not even BM. Let's be. No, 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 no. I don't see none of that. I, stay, uh, I brutalized my own deck there. I think it's finished. It's done. Love the concept. Terrible execution on my behalf. A very fun and interesting way to play Ho-Oh -Ho for sure. Uh, and definitely, you know, is... You, you can win games with this deck, even against top tier, you can. It's just, yeah, you're, you're gambling quite a lot, a lot of the times. And on top of that, I don't have the skill, um, nor the attention span, nor the energy, I guess, today. I, you know, I, as, as a subject at the start, I am still sick. For those who are already, I, I am fine. Um, they're looking in, they're, we're now looking into potential bacterial infection rather than IBD, um, which is actually a good thing because if it is that, it's curable. It's something I could just take some uh, medicine for and it'll go away. But I've been suffering for bloody almost uh, what, one and a half months now. I just, I just can't wait for it to bloody end. And if it is that, it's good, because then I can get better before EUIC, because I, I really, really, really want to attend a UIC. Like, I really, really want to attend it. So, yeah. Uh, let's let's hope I get... Uh, let's hope that's all sorted by then, um, and I can get back to just making daily videos, because, you know, I've got fun decks like these in the background that I just have to get out when I get the energy. But, um, yeah, thanks all again for your patience and your understanding and your best wishes in the previous video. Um, I still am ill, but just in a kind of different way now. Um, but we're getting closer to, to the conclusion or whatever it is that I've got. I mean, bro, being sick for a month and a half is not fun. 
especially when you just don't know what it is and you don't know how to get rid of it. So yeah, it, I just can't wait for the end of it. Um, anyway, that said, we're going to leave it there. Um, I'll probably, I have been feeling a bit better nowadays, so I might be able to get one out tomorrow, but obviously no guarantees. Um, but yeah, thanks again for sticking around and supporting even in these times. Um, right, I've got to go now so <laughs> thanks for watching do take care of yourself again members if you want to become member support the channel get some extra benefits for the channel then definitely check it out um and i have some news soon i'm announcing something soon uh, coming up which i'll probably announce when i migrate but that said stay tuned for that news as well um and i will see you soon take care of yourself and peace